you remember the first time you heard the words, you're hired? What an incredible feeling for a young person. But in Sacramento County, 34,000 16 to 24 year olds are unemployed. And the lifetime tax burden to society for someone not connected to work by age 24, $500,000. And these young people are facing adulthood with their safety net gone. All they seek is stability, self-worth, and a community that believes in them. Let me tell you about Maisa. 19, unstably housed, out of work, Maisa was stuck. But then she came to Juma Ventures. Maisa says, the relationships I had with my Juma team was the kind that any employee would be lucky to have. Now, after she completed the program, Maisa soon found a job as a, a new job as a medical technician. Just fantastic progress. But how did she do it? Well, at Juma, it starts with a job. Juma Ventures finds low-income young people like Maisa who are homeless, aging out of foster care, or out of school and work for over six months and immediately employs them. We operate social enterprises in every Sacramento sports stadium, hiring these young adults to work as uh, guest service and concessions positions. And we're offering this real world work environment so young people can build their skills and self-confidence with supportive supervisors. Now, it starts with a job and then Juma builds on that. We deliver incentivized financial capability workshops so young people can build their assets. Then we deliver educational and career workshops and pathways with dedicated program coordinators. Ultimately, we're connecting that Juma youth to their next job and helping them build the skills to turn that job into a career. Now, we need your support for our Youth Incentives Fund to build these youth career pathways. An investment of $100,000 will allow 200 young people like Maisa to complete the Juma program. And we know the Incentives Fund works. Last year, 93% of Juma young people completed the program and 60% then connected to their next employment or job placement. Now that is a true industry standard for an employment program success rate. And so the next time you're at a Kings game or a Sac Republic game or a River Cats game, please stop by one of our concession stands and say hello to a Juma youth. You'll know that your support will help them turn that job into a career. Thank you. Nicely done, Steven. Patrick, kick us off. Juma, I thought for a hot second we were going to be doing like a hot yoga class. So I, <laughs> sorry. Very excited. My pants are way too tight for that. I will say one of the things that really, um, I was not familiar with this program uh, prior to your presentation. And so what I'm really appreciative of is that you took me through the whole thing. Um, I thought that your metrics were very persuasive. I liked, though, mostly when you were talking about it's not just the immediate accessibility to a job, but that as part of that employment, there is education that's working in conjunction that teaches these young people how to be responsible with their money, how to start future planning with their money, and really sets a framework that I wish I had had right, when I started my own business. So I think one of the great things that you do is, is really teaching folks who might not really ever have access to that type of forward thinking, how to be responsible stewards with their money. I also think that that 93% completion rate is something to be really, really proud of. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, Stephen, I mean, I, I've got to know Juma over the years working in a couple different, uh, with our sports team. So uh, I've seen firsthand, I thought the way that you explained it, uh, gave us the kind of path of how it works for some of these young people that are on the margins that need a little bit of different kind of help as they get into the workforce was, I, I wrote smooth, like it was just really smooth the way you did it. Um, I agree with Patrick, the, the, some of those data, that those numbers are super powerful. So the fact that you really stood on those was awesome. I will say, with so many Sac State representatives here, you guys have games like football and I don't know, other, why, I, I don't know, maybe you should, should you talk? Probably. I mean, Plenty of business probably cards. Talk. Plenty of business cards. There, there, you, go. Go. there yeah. you go. But anyway, Stephen, nice job. Well, Thank you. Well, I also had never heard of your organization before, so this was educational for me. 
And when you said that you could help with homeless youth, I thought, there's the key. We all know the extent of the homeless problem right now that is just devastating in our city particularly, but in cities around the state, the whole states. But to help a student like that or a young person like that whose possibilities are limited and perhaps contracted and be able to give them the sense of worth that comes with a job and the ability to think about managing money and finances Think of what you are doing for the society as a whole to getting a young person in that path at an early stage. And I do have to agree with my fellow influencers up here because that success rate of 93% and then 60 whatever it was actually going in is really remarkable. So whatever you're doing, you're doing it right and you're doing it for them and you're doing it for us. So thank you. Thank you. You're hired. <laughs> Nicely done, Steven.